Eu vou começar perguntando justamente sobre esse diálogo muito interessante que o senhor tem pro, com o ministro Barroso no prefácio da nova edição do Justiça, porque os senhores discordam em algumas coisas, partem ali de premissas que às vezes são as mesmas, mas chegam a conclusões diferentes e debatem temas bastante complexos, alguns dos quais estão na pauta da nossa Suprema Corte neste semestre, como legalização do aborto e a descriminalização das drogas. Queria saber é, a respeito da divergência que me parece a fundadora entre os senhores, que é o fato do ministro achar que há alguma possibilidade de neutralidade em certos debates e o senhor achar que não, que o ponto de vista moral sempre vai estar presente nesses debates. O senhor ainda continua reafirmando a sua convicção? I do. I haven't changed my mind. The, um, the issue is this, where Justice Barossa and I agree is on the importance of rights, on the importance of respecting individual rights in a democracy and having institutions that uphold rights. We agree about that. Where we disagree is on the philosophical basis of rights. I've been arguing for a very long time against a very familiar and influential idea that says the way to respect rights is to try to define them and to define principles of justice in a way that is neutral toward competing conceptions of the good life. Now, that philosophy is understandable because in pluralist societies, we disagree about moral questions, about the good life. So wouldn't it be better, many argue, many liberal philosophers argue, including Justice Barossa, to seek principles of justice and rights that don't take sides in those contested moral controversies? I've argued that it's not possible to define and defend rights in a way that's neutral on underlying moral questions. And that really is uh, the, the difference between us. Mas essas questões indo ao julgamento na nossa Suprema Corte, no equivalente à nossa Suprema Corte, é possível chegar a um veredito que, que enfim, de alguma maneira coteja essas duas visões de mundo e chegue a uma decisão justa? I think it's possible to have a fair decision and to adjudicate rights, but I think that whether courts and justices recognize it explicitly or assume implicitly any account of rights will depend on some conception of virtue or the good life or the purposes that rights serve, the ends that rights serve. So I don't think it's possible even for courts to avoid, completely to avoid moral judgment when making legal judgment.